Adam Edge Copeland, WWE Hall of Famer, and probably wearing, hopefully, that new Leafs collab T-shirt. How's it going this morning, Edge? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Are yeah, you wearing I, uh, it? <laughs> kind of have it. I haven't taken it off. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a stuck to your skin at this yeah, point. I, just, I, I love it. <laughs> Yeah, it's awesome. It is pretty great. If everyone has a chance to take a look um, on your shirt, second straight year you've collaborated with the Leafs. Well, let's start with that. Um, a pretty special thing for you to be able to do. Uh, you were at a, a handful of Maple Leafs games, um, especially down uh, in Tampa this spring. Um, your history with this team and how cool it is to be able to to be involved in the fashion that you are. Uh, th- this is one of those things one of the, those perks i guess that you would never imagine you know when i when i first decided i want to be a wrestler and all of these things you don't think 25 years into your career that you're going to be able to collaborate with the the team that you watched as a kid and some of my first very first memories are watching the leafs with my family with my grandpa with all of my uncles down on the shag carpet in the basement and <laughs> You know, watching Lanny McDonald and Sittler and, you know, those and Paul Mateer. So, to, to, and throughout the Gilmore years, through all of the years, but just to, to be involved with that kind of history at all is, is really, really cool. It's really, really fun. And the, the Leafs are, uh, and I think a lot of listeners will understand they're they're kind of they become more than a team. And I think that's why Toronto and I, I think that's why Maple Leafs fan base is so passionate because they're they're a touchstone for a lot of people, and, and that's really what they are for me. You know, um, I watched every game last year. I I sat down if I didn't watch it live, I didn't hop on social media. I waited until I could sit and actually watch the game and. Um, just because I like to, to see the entire game and see who's starting to click or see who's, you know, coming into their own and things like that. I just, I love hockey. I absolutely adore the Leafs. So for me, from a kid from Orangeville, this is, it still kind of blows my mind. You are actually from Alton, are you not? We were there yesterday golfing TPC uh, Osprey Valley and we were in your, your hamlet. Yeah, well, I'm actually Orangeville. Oh, but, uh, do you guys fight uh, over I, that? I, I, Okay. The, they Google it. It's, it's, you can see it two different ways. I'll have to talk to Wikipedia because it, you're kind of in both. I'll have to make an edit. You got a leg in each one. <laughs> I do. Well, Wikipedia knows better than me. I That's guess. true. Yeah, yeah. That, that may be true. They know all. Uh, they. You need to. Yeah. You need to go check the birth certificate because Wikipedia is never wrong, right? <laughs> but it's a beautiful spot. We were there yesterday. We were uh, out in your hood, so uh, you know we love Hamlets on the show, so we had to make sure we we mentioned it. No, Al- Alton's awesome. Yeah, and I do go stay there whenever I come up a lot of the time. But <laughs> uh, there you go. Okay, so uh, Kyle Dubas, uh, you know, we thought like this is the second straight year of collaborating with the Maple Leafs with a T-shirt. Mm-hmm. We thought it might hinge on Dubas's involvement because Dubas is such <laughs> a big wrestling guy. Uh, and clearly, you know, I'm glad to see that it's it's uh, the tradition carries on here. Mm-hmm. Uh, but seeing Dubas leave or tracking that storyline, you don't miss a game. I guarantee you don't miss a headline like Kyle Dubas going to the Pittsburgh Penguins. What were your thoughts on on that move and everything that went down with Kyle? Well, I, you know what? I'm first of all, I'm happy for him because it looks like he got the uh, what he wanted in Pittsburgh, which is what I think he wanted in Toronto, and I don't think he was going to get. Um, so, in that regard, I'm really happy for him. And you can already see what he's doing. You know, uh, he makes exciting teams, and he was. He, he built an exciting team in Toronto. Um, I, I I actually wished he were still here. But all of that being said, um, you know, I, I can't wait to see what the Leafs do. You know, it's going to be a different team. It's going to look entirely different. Um, and, and that's exciting. It's also kind of like, oh, man, I really enjoyed our style of play. Mm. However, comes to the playoffs, it's a different style of play as we witnessed. So, um, you know, whatever gets the cup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel ya. Um, it's funny that you mentioned different type of, of, of style of play because uh, the word that was buzzing around um, after the trade deadline, uh, sorry, after a free agency was that they added some snot to this lineup. I feel like you would respect yeah. somebody adding snot um, to any, like, any type of uh, team. But is that something that, you know, as a wrestler yourself, you know, you, you like a little physicality, you like a little snot on your lineup. Yeah, I kind of like that term. I always called it sandpaper, <laughs> mm. you know, gritty. You know, it's 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 that it's that guy who's going to get down in the corners and, you know, have the defenseman 
looking over his shoulder as, as he's coming in to get that puck. And you need guys like that. You really do. And um, <laughs> you got a guy like Ryan Reeves, uh, that's going to happen, you know, and I, I think that is something that the Leafs tried to shore up going into the playoffs, but it's also hard to gel uh, that quickly, I think. And um, and they did to a degree because they're all pros and they're all obviously great. But um, I think by making some moves in the off season, now you have an entire season. And the points might not be there like they have been. And the goal scoring might not be there like they have been. But if you're trying to build a, a playoff winning team, I, I think it is different. Um, you know, even Boston last year as high flying as they were, I, I feel like they gassed out come the playoffs and, um, it's sometimes you, you just gotta have an ugly team. Like, like you said, with some snot and, and they got that. Don't get me wrong, but it just, it felt like they gassed out and, and hopefully Toronto will have an entire year an entire season now to really kind of, you know, pull it together and fill whatever holes that they're missing. Is there a wrestling equivalent to snot? Yeah. Sandpaper, sandpaper, grit, Um, Mm. you know, just that, that, you know, you just, you want to throw some sandpaper elbows in there and just kind of, you know, grind it on somebody's, you know, right under their eyes, that kind of feel. Yeah, that's uh, scary stuff. Um, okay, so let's get back to your big weekend here um, in Toronto, of course. Friday night, WWE SmackDown. They're celebrating your 25th anniversary. Um, all of that and the fact that it's Toronto and it's important and Canada means so much to you. And it was you know, something you mentioned at one point that you'd love to have one more match in your hometown adjacent before retiring. Just the excitement level and what this is going to mean to you tomorrow night. And the specific matchup as well, the first time going head-to-head with Sheamus in your WWE career is on one-on-one. So all of this, where is your point of uh, the biggest point of excitement um, when you look ahead at tomorrow night? You know, it's it's all the cliches. It really is, and and I, I've I've had so many you know what would seem storybook cliches happen to me over the years, and uh, yeah, I just I, I look at it, and and it's 25 years with WWE, like that's uh, that's about four lifetimes because <laughs> 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 wrestling life is a dog years, and. Um, Man, I, I just look back to the beginning, and it, it all just kind of unfolds in your brain. So to be here, to have it commemorated in Toronto, obviously, is um, it's just insanely special to me, you know, because Toronto's where it all started. You know, I, I trained down on Jamison Avenue at Sully's Gym and knocked around Toronto while I was trying to, you know, cut my teeth and, and, and get experience and try to do this thing. Um, it, it, it all is just really surreal at times uh, my girls are flying up with me mm-hmm. my wife's gonna be there my college friends my high school friends my public school friends my village <laughs> it's it, I, I really want it to be a celebration and the fact that i get to work with shamo um he's a guy that uh you know he's been with the company about 15 years and and we've never had that one-on-one match we're very close very tight he is um, everything I've, I said on our show on Friday is true. He was the catalyst for, for me getting this career back and getting this last chapter back and getting it to, to see it out on my terms. He, he's the reason I got it back. Um, so to, to share it with him as well is uh, it's, it's just really cool. I don't know how else to say it. You know, I'm just so ecstatic. And, um, but I'm also going to be relieved when I get back to the locker room and can just take a deep breath. Uh, If we look forward to my next question, I mean, Friday might be the answer in Friday night versus Seamus, but you mentioned 25 years for lifetimes uh, being the equivalent. Do you have a most rewarding moment match result? The return obviously is probably at the forefront there, but when you do reflect, when you think about those 25 years, what stands out as the most rewarding? I mean, maybe because it's so recent, but, but the return of the Royal rumble, you know, it, it's going to top everything. And I think that's just always going to be the case because it just, it wasn't supposed to happen. Um, you know, the, the, the surgeons and, and, you know, the ones who medically disqualified me are still kind of dumbfounded how it is happening. Um, so I, I think just to, to, 
to conquer that challenge, honestly, for me personally, that makes it the top of the list. Because if you watch that back when I come to the ring, that's Adam Copeland. That's unvarnished, no filter. You're seeing everything go across this guy's face that started watching this at 10 years old and dreamed of doing it and drew an art class as his gear that he was going to wear to the Mm -hmm. ring and, and, you know, who would gap out and start imagining ideas for matches against certain wrestlers and the teacher would call on him and be like, Oh, oh, uh, ah, sorry. I was just thinking about match versus Owen Hart. (laughs) Like I'm, I'm that kid. So uh, that moment to get all of that back and and kind of grasp it you can see it all in my eyes and and that will always be the most special thing for me i think we're talking to adam edge copeland of course wwe hall of famer in town uh for friday's night friday night's wwe smackdown your 25th anniversary as you mentioned a very special night a lot of anticipation coming into it and then when you're done it's going to be nice to just have a, a breath and have a have a moment to soak it all in um but i of course i have to ask you what's next after that have you thought about what's next is this maybe a really nice moment to not think about what you would do next uh, but there's obviously speculation and we, we got to ask you if you thought any further after your fight uh, against Seamus yeah it's I mean I, I can't say I haven't thought about it I have for sure um, but I, I realized I haven't come to any conclusions and I'm, I'm, I'm kind of torn honestly because I, I don't want to do this to the point where I don't feel like I'm able to to have the output uh, that I want you know that that I could because only I know how I feel when I'm deep into a match and go Oof, man okay didn't do enough cardio or <laughs> man I did all that cardio and I'm still feeling this way um so I, I that's why I really want to collect myself after this thing take a just a big old deep breath and just decide what that is um you know my contract's up at the end of September this is my last contracted you know match So I I have a lot of decisions to make, but I I can't do it now. I think I almost got to see how Friday goes in a weird way. And I know that's not a clear answer, but I don't have it yet. (laughs) No, it's totally understandable. And maybe a big victory will help let it all settle in. Uh, We wish you the best of luck. Enjoy this weekend. Let it soak in. Um, It'll be uh, for sure a big, uh, a big applause, a big fanfare for you when you return home for your 25th anniversary uh, tomorrow night. We're looking forward to it. And hopefully we chat with you a little Leafs down the road. Yeah, I'll be there. (laughs) Perfect. Thanks (laughs) so much. Thank you. Thanks for having me.